How to use Squarespace Courses new feature, how to sell courses on Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use Squarespace Courses. They recently launched this feature and we can easily sell our online materials with this uh, interface with these functional. So here we are on squarespace.com and in order to get started we just simply need to click on get started in the right top corner. If you are new to this platform you'll have to create an account but you can easily do it with your Gmail. So here we are we can easily select the necessary template to interact with. So Squarespace provides us the opportunity to customize their templates and we can easily find uh, types uh, on their like filter area and we can choose courses here and in order to interact with the courses we can of course use these templates but we can also add some additional pages on other websites and in my case I'm going to use uh, this uh, template to make it easier to show but of course you can uh, do it by yourself. So let's click on preview to see how will it look like and it looks pretty cool because you know I was introduced to this template a little bit earlier and we can easily click on start with this design in the right top to start creating our first course on a Squarespace and firstly we need to know that now our website is created we just simply need to set up our name let it be like courses continue next next and get started so in order to manage our course structure to add new videos to add new materials we need to click on website and then just simply scroll down to find all the areas and we can see courses here it's what uh, like demo stuff and also paywall so people have to pay we can manage it and i will show you how to do it a little bit uh, later so we can click on this uh, like page and to open the sub pages so here we can explain and here we can find uh, three more pages pricing plans course overview and course content so course overview is a page where we can introduce our course we can find the template how will it look like and also we can manage it i will show you how to do it a little bit later and the uh, the last page the uh, like course content uh, contains all the content inside of the course lessons and also chapters so if you're interested in dividing your uh, lessons into different groups chapters will help us here we have two chapters introduction and process uh, to show you an example i want to delete all of them and we'll create it from scratch so let's click on uh, plus right up here and we need to add a chapter so i would like to add like chapter one and also i would like to add a chapter two so we need to add a chapter, chapter two, save. And now in order to add lessons uh, to chapters, we just simply need to click on add lesson right up here and then fill all the information such as a title, some description, a thumbnail and duplicate. Also on the video area, we need to upload our materials we'd like to sell, for example, like uh, maybe lesson one lesson two introduction and so on you need to know that the max uh, like duration is three hours and also uh, we need to know that you, you'll have to maybe sometimes split it into two different parts for example part one and part two to make it suitable as for squarespace to upload it and then we need to manage status so we have three options we can uh, upload it as a draft published and scheduled it depends on your aims if you want to save this lesson to edit and publish later draft is the most suitable publish this lesson now is published and scheduled is set a date and time for your lesson to be published in my case i'm going to use a draft so now we can click on save and as you can see, our lesson was automatically added. Of course, we have no description, no title, uh, no uh, thumbnail. So uh, we need to add it, of course. But this is a way, just as an example, of how can we add lessons to our course. The next thing I wanted to show you is that we need to manage our pricing plan. So let's click on pricing plans and here click on create a pricing plan. So uh, there are a lot of options of how can we set up this part. Uh, firstly, of course, we need to add a name, description, different benefits as for the buyers who wants to buy. And after that, we need to manage pricing. And there are three options like a fixed amount, subscription and free. Of course, you can allow access to pages and content for free, but you can also set up a recurring payments like uh, set up a price 
um, repeats, how many times it will repeat per month, per week or per year. And also we can uh, like uh, change it to a fixed amount, one time payment, for example, $15 or two time payment, maybe like $50 and so on. Then we can scroll down to choose included products and then just sign up limits. After that, just simply click on create and after, after that, our pricing plan will be automatically created. I also wanted to show you that we can manage our sales on the analytics area. Here we can find uh, traffic information, geography, sales by product, purchase funnel, and traffic sources. I think this is the most helpful uh, metrics we need to uh, see on our website. And the other thing of how can we interact with the products with our courses is that we can go to commerce and then open products. So here we can click on add a product and after that add a course. So uh, we can easily change the template from this page here, like this or like this. And after that will be redirected to the page I already showed you. And of course, we need to set up our uh, price, uh, how will we withdraw our payments. So we need to open payments area and then we need to connect Stripe or PayPal or we can also use a square. It's like uh, Square is a platform from Squarespace. So it depends on your purposes. And after that, you can easily interact with every single part of Squarespace courses. Also, of course, we need to edit our website. We will not create courses about how to bake a bread. So we need to click on edit and then just simply edit every single section here. So after that, um, you can easily launch your website and in order to do it right, we need to buy a paid plan and then just simply upgrade our Squarespace. So in the bottom of the screen, click on subscribe. And as you can see, we have four options, personal, business, commerce basic and commerce advanced. And in order to uh, get started with the course selling, I suggested to use business or commerce basic or commerce advanced. It depends on your own. And in order to start with, it's enough to use a business plan. But if you want to make your website bigger, I suggested to upgrade it to commerce advanced, the best plan. Price is like $65 per month, but we'll have zero transaction fees and also all the features enabled on Squarespace. If you want to see more in-depth tutorials about how to customize the website, how to change general things like font styles, color palette or animations, you can always uh, watch my other tutorials. You can find the playlist right up here. And if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. So yeah, this is the end of this video. Hope this video helped you out and it made your life a little bit easier. If it is, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So I wish you a very, very good day and goodbye, guys.